Regular show has had its fair share of crazy stories over its seven season run. But do you remember when Rigby went back to high school? Let's talk about that. That's right, regular show ran for almost 10 years. And this show went places I literally never thought it would, including space. While similar shows like Adventure Time got weirder and more lore heavy as the show went on, regular show went in its own direction, developing its characters further, putting them through more realistic human scenarios, and going with an ultimate sci-fi finale, an entire season in space, and an ending you'll never forget. I literally don't know anybody who didn't cry at Pop's death. If you didn't, you're a sociopath. I'm diagnosing you now. But one of the most interesting things about regular show that I feel like the show just doesn't get enough credit for is just how much they develop the characters. From the main to Mordecai and Rigby, to Benson, to even Eileen and especially Margaret. All these characters started out sort of flat and one-dimensional, but the more episodes we got, the more opportunity the show had to explore these characters more in depth, and nowhere is this more apparent than with Rigby. From the start, Mordecai and Rigby were a pretty dynamic duo, but it's clear that the earlier seasons focused a little bit more on Mordecai, with Rigby sort of being the sidekick type. This wasn't all the time, but was especially heavy during Mordecai's romance subplots. And no matter how you feel about those, it's true that Rigby deserved a little bit more development. Luckily, in later seasons, he got them. This arc started in season 7, which technically was like the last semi-normal season of Regular Show, because the next season was Regular Show in space. However, this season was the start of that entire dilemma, with scientists putting a dome around the park. But while that big plot thread was happening, we got a tinier plot thread by Rigby taking a hold of his life, trying to grow as a person, and that all started with him going back to high school. Now, as interesting as this plot was, I think just on paper, the fact that Rigby went back to high school and it lasted multiple episodes is crazy. And I feel like it's worth talking about because it's a great example of how it's never too late to develop your characters further. So without further ado, guys, let's take a look at that time Rigby went back to high school. Real quick, guys, I just want to give a quick thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. ExpressVPN is an incredible service that enables unrestricted access to all parts of the internet while keeping you safe and secure. With forces like hackers and slow internet speeds breathing down your neck, ExpressVPN is able to hide your IP address, preventing hackers from creeping in and stealing your information when you're connected to unencrypted networks like at airports, hotels, and coffee shops. It's super easy. All it takes is a literal press of a button and can be accessed on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Something that I love about ExpressVPN actually comes in handy now more than ever. It gives you way more shows and movies on streaming. Case in point, if I change my VPN location to the UK, suddenly I have Rick and Morty and Final Space. That is not in America. Even with YouTube, sometimes videos are region locked, and ExpressVPN allows me to bypass that with no hassle. ExpressVPN is the fastest VPN on the market, with glowing reviews, 24-7 customer service, and easy access. And you can get three months free with a 12-month plan only by clicking this link in the description. ExpressVPN.com slash the roundtable. Again, this free three months is in addition to the 12-month plan at expressvpn.com slash the roundtable. Take back your internet privacy today. This arc started kind of randomly into the seventh season, and it lasted multiple episodes. I'll give it to them though, the episodes did not air back to back, meaning that this was a sort of realistically long and drawn out process. We didn't see like five straight episodes of him in high school, it was just spattered throughout the season. This helped build the serialization of regular show even more, something that was at its all time peak during the later seasons, and yeah, it just overall felt more realistic. Plus it's natural for a show to tell more plot heavy stories later on, the characters are established, we know the world, but one of the reasons why this was such an important character shift was because Rigby's character up until that point was pretty awful. That's right, I think it's safe to say that at the beginning of the series, Rigby was a complete jerk, and he stayed that way for a while. In the earlier seasons, he would completely mess with Mordecai, literally at one point sabotaging his date with Margaret just to mess with him, leading to Mordecai actually killing Rigby. This show is dark, and it's revealed in the movie he literally screwed up Mordecai's entire future by lying to him about his college entrance exam, leading to him getting the dead end job at the park. So yeah, up until this point, Rigby needed some redeeming. As the series went on though, he started to soften up and started, well, caring more about things. And I think it's safe to say that all happened when he met Eileen, which makes their story so sweet. In fact, this is what kicks off the entire high school arc. In the episode, The Eileen Plan, Eileen embarrassingly reveals her old life plan where she wanted to be dating somebody who was extremely smart. This causes Rigby to get insecure because he hasn't even graduated high school. But Rigby decides to do something about it and re-enrolls in high school, which is a whole hassle on its own. I don't know why he didn't just get his GED, but it's definitely 
actually way more interesting this way, so I'll roll with it. He finds out he only has to take a couple more credits, which end up being the future episodes, and he's off to the races. At first though, Rigby finds it's really difficult to balance, and the fact that he's keeping it a secret from Eileen makes it so much harder. The episode ends with the two having a heart to heart, Rigby telling her the truth that he never graduated high school, and her accepting him anyways, and being proud of his hard work. Man, they're just such a good wholesome relationship. I'm glad we got to see at least one in the series. I'm looking at you, Mordecai. And the show could have kind of ended it here, but they kept going with it. The next episode being crazier than ever. In the episode Hello China, we see Benson going on his own little personal journey, trying to live a more adventurous life by traveling to China to teach English. But his plan gets derailed when Rigby hops along for the ride, needing a foreign language credit to graduate high school. This is arguably the funniest setup for the episode, the fact that Rigby literally hid himself in a suitcase to come, and I can't help but feel really bad for Benson. As Rigby ends up fitting in super well at the class, but ruining things for Benson by proxy. In the episode, the two have a heart to heart, where Benson opens up about how much he's struggling with actually teaching them, and actually confronts Rigby about his change being phony, saying that he's really not acting any different than he did before. This causes Rigby to wake up a little bit, and he ends up helping the class learn English himself by teaching them a rap song. This is another huge moment for Rigby's character. It's one thing to say that you want to change, but to actually put that into action is really complicated and hard, and the show addressed that, which I thought was really cool. Not to mention the fact that Rigby realizes he's being selfish, and does a selfless act to make up for it. Well, sort of selfless, he's still getting that credit. But it was just so cool seeing a Rigby Benson episode. I love when these two work together and aren't arguing with each other, it's really wholesome. The next episode, Jim Blonsky sees Rigby dealing with problems from the past while taking phys ed. In the high school gym class, which we can all agree is a horrible experience no one should ever have to go through. Rigby finds out that the substitute gym teacher is actually his old foe from his high school days, who relentlessly bullies Rigby because of old beef. In reality, they're just two sad adults who refuse to leave high school, which is really depressing. Rigby decides he's not going to take the disrespect anymore, and the two duke it out in typical regular show fashion, having a literal fast food drag race to settle their differences, and eventually the two have a moment where they settle their differences and realize they have to leave high school in the past, actually becoming friends. This episode isn't crazy or anything, but I really loved what they did here. Putting a spin on the classic bully trope, and especially the classic bully who never left high school trope, and using it to send a positive story about change and forgiveness, as corny as that sounds, really worked here. And again, it's another example of how Rigby is becoming a better person. The older Rigby definitely would have held on to that grudge. He probably would have like shoved him and gone hmm 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 or something like that. You know what they do. But no, this Rigby is all about squashing the beef and growing as a person. We also get to see Rigby's brother in this episode again, which is always amazing. Speaking of family, the next episode, Rigby Goes to the Prom, is my favorite by far in this arc. In this episode, Rigby plans on going full high school by taking Eileen to the prom. The only problem is, he doesn't have a car, which at this point, honestly, is really sad. I mean, he's definitely getting a little too old to only have access to a golf cart. Just saying, no shade. This leads him to actually visit with his parents, trying to use his dad's car, and we found out more about Rigby's home life, which honestly is kind of depressing. Most specifically, his relationship with his dad, which is just really horrible. His dad is a really horrible person. Person, constantly putting down Rigby, telling him he's not as good as his brother, and refusing him to let him take the car. He doesn't even acknowledge Rigby's hard work and his growth. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this, and I'm glad they're showing something like this here because the situation is all too common. Despite this, Rigby's mom is a saint and lets him take the car, as long as he promises not to scratch it. He goes to the prom and everything is going perfect, until his dad realizes the car is gone. Then we have, and I swear to god this is true, the funniest sequence in all of regular show. I can't cap here, this is amazing. We watch Watch Rigby's dad in his underwear burst into the prom and demand Rigby and his car. And I don't know if that sounds funny describing it, but watching this scene unfold is pure comedic gold. Especially when he ignores the blatant hypocrisy of his actions. He gets word of where Rigby's at and goes to retrieve his car, putting an end to Rigby's perfect prom night. However, it's Rigby's dad's arguing in anger that actually causes him to crash the car, crashing off the road and almost killing all of them. Rigby tries desperately to get a hold of the wheel as he feels like he can fix it, but Rigby's dad is stubborn and refuses. Eventually, Rigby gets a hold of the wheel and actually delivers them all to safety, teaching his dad a lesson and how capable his son is, and giving them a true tender moment. And this is a really sweet episode, but there's more happening here. Throughout this whole arc, with all of these episodes, we've seen Rigby be better in ways that he never has before, but more importantly, reconciled with all the people in his life he had problems with before. I mean, Benson, old high school bullies, his own father. He's turning these negative relationships into positive ones 
through his own personal growth. And that's definitely the coolest part about the arc in my opinion. It all comes to a head in the season 7 finale, which is actually Rigby's graduation. He's gotten all the credits and he's about to graduate high school, but he has to give a huge speech on national television, which he is terrified to do. While struggling with this, Rigby leans on Mordecai for help, only to find that Mordecai has given him the cold shoulder. In fact, through this whole process, the two have been growing apart, and that's because Mordecai is not handling their dynamic being flipped that well. He's used to being the one on top, and he's not used to Rigby having the attention or getting better as a person. In fact, if anything, it's just making Mordecai insecure. This reaches its worst when Mordecai, after going on a long, difficult mission to retrieve Rigby's favorite coffee as a surprise, ends up abandoning the mission when Rigby accuses Mordecai of not caring. However, after Rigby completely botches the first part of his speech, the two reconcile backstage, finally putting an end to how weird their dynamic has gotten. Mordecai admits honest things about how he's feeling and says he knows they're not right. Rigby accepts them. It's really wholesome and good. And then Rigby goes out and gives the best speech ever. Like, I was actually blown away by this speech. It's a really good speech. Everything is perfect. Rigby finally graduated high school. He grew as a person and even gave a great speech. But regular show won't let us just have this victory. Because remember the entire thing that's been happening in the background this whole time? I don't know, that weird science experiment dome over the park? That wasn't just not gonna go anywhere. At the end of his speech, they all get the word to get back to the park as soon as possible. Not even fully understanding why, but knowing that it's important, they rush back to the park as fast as they can. Only for the true nature of the experiment to be revealed, as the park is literally launched into space with all of them in it. Including Eileen, which I'm glad. I'm glad Eileen's here. She's the best. Season 7 ends on this major cliffhanger, and while it is sad to see Rigby's big accomplishment undercut by this crazy sci-fi scenario, it doesn't detract from the fact that it happened, that he grew as a person, and I think these are actually some of the most important episodes of the show. They tackle some pretty serious issues that come with personal growth and just getting better as a person, along with admitting when you want to change. And Rigby definitely changes for the better. One thing that I've always loved about regular show is that it's been able to handle more complicated adult concepts. And I don't mean a adults in a mature way, I mean adults like in a more human way. Having to go back to high school because you didn't graduate is a specifically adult problem. And that's what I always loved about regular show. They didn't make Mordecai and Rigby kids, they made them slacker adults. And despite being aimed towards kids, they still managed to get away with a lot of stuff. I mean, there was literally an episode where Benson was really drunk, although the explanation was that he had a concussion and was eating too many wings. We all know what they meant. And come on, Mississippi Queen, what was all that? That being said, guys, these are definitely some of my all-time favorite episodes of the show, and it's definitely worth giving them a watch if you haven't seen them yet. That being said, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do these sound interesting to you? Have you seen them? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Let us know in those comments down below, or tweet to us around Table Vids, or me, Editor Nemo. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to The Roundtable for more incredible cartoon content. As always, guys, I'm Nemo, this is a regular show video, and I will see you next time. Peace.